Oregon forests and really forests around the country play an economic role, they play a social role, and they play an ecological role. And you really have to kind of look at all those different components as a whole. You can't just separate one of them. And so, you know, economically, they provide a lot of jobs to people, whether it's through the timber industry or it's through um, the tourism industry, recreation. They really play a critical role, especially in rural communities with economics, socially, they provide a lot of different services to people, you know, as far as like mental and physical health. It's a really wonderful place to be in nature, um, especially this past year with the pandemic. We have seen more and more people using our natural spaces than ever before. And especially in Forest Park, we've seen unprecedented numbers over the past year. Um, and, you know, there's the ecological role. It's not just one forest. It's that interconnectivity between different forests, um, ranges in providing you know that those corridors and habitat for wildlife and different kinds of species and you know kind of thinking this past year over all the massive wildfires in Oregon um, I think right now we're kind of taking a look and taking a step back about how these different spaces are managed and it's and it's really important to do that because in the past you know they've been managed differently so we have suppressed wildfire um, for a long time and really not allowed these forests to go through its natural fire cycle. And now we are having obviously hotter, drier summers and which also means that these forest fires are burning hotter and they are having more damage to the ecosystem than they would if they had basically been used to having these fire cycles um, going through. And so I think that it's going to take a lot of collaboration from numerous different organizations, whether it's agencies, nonprofits, communities that depend on these forests, to really work together and find that balance between ensuring its ecological resilience and integrity, but also being realistic that because of a history that these places do need to have some kind of management to be able to not only have healthy forests for the future um, so that we can continue to combat the impacts of climate change but also to make sure that our communities are safe um, and that you know different communities are not devastated by the impacts of a wildfire um, economically socially um, and then you know back to the, the ecological impacts as well and so I really think that it is going to take a lot of a lot of collaboration um, and finding common goals and objectives to really achieve what we want to do. Mm -hmm.